run our league on myfantasyleague.com. For those of you who are unfamiliar with myfantasyleague.com, they provide a web-based fantasy football experience that is, in my opinion, second to none. The amount of options that they give you as far as roster limitations, scoring rules, and the like are, without a doubt, top-notch and nearly limitless. We're really looking forward to it um, and taking our services over there. But I see other services that are very constricting and very limiting. Our league this year is going to be a multiple conference league. Um, we're going to have a commentators conference, and beyond that, we're going to have viewer conferences too. So if you don't want to make videos and you don't want to call yourself a commentator but want to play fantasy football and want to play for free, we're going to have spots available for those who want to participate in that. But what we're looking for is 8 to 12 teams per conference, and we're going to gauge it based off of how many commentators we can get. If we get 8 commentators to participate, we'll do 18 conferences. If we get 10, we'll do 10 team conferences and so on and so forth. I think 12 is probably where we're going to max out at, though. So basically the way multiple conferences are going to work, um, each conference is going to have its own NFL pool of players to draft from and build their rosters off of and make trades with and everything like that. So if the commentators go and they're going to draft first, and I'll get into that in a second, and they draft Drew Brees and Tom Brady. Well, in your draft, there will be, if you're just a viewer there and not in a commentator's conference, you will have a Tom Brady and a Drew Brees that you can go after as well. So you're not completely locked out of the best players, and the best players aren't just going to get taken. The thing that goes along with that is teams cannot take players from outside their team's conference. So... You have to do all of your trades within your conference, and you have to pick up all your waivers and free agents within your conference. So that's just to maintain some continuity to make sure, you know, somebody doesn't get two raid rices on their team, things to that effect. Our draft, we're actually going to hold a live draft with the commentators. We're going to do that on Sunday. We haven't determined the time. If you're East Coast, I would imagine it's going to be noon. If you're, it's, you know, if you're West Coast like I am, it's probably going to be around 9 a.m. But that's kind of where we're looking at the noonish area, give or take a couple of hours. Um, but we'll give you the time once we actually hash it out and sit down and say this is going to be the time. This is what it's going to do. If you are a commentator and you are a part of that draft, and we give you time, um, we're probably going to give you a, a watch you in the Skype chat room at least a half an hour early. We'll get more into that in a second. Um, after the commentators draft, we're going to do viewer leagues. They're going to do their draft as well. They'll have a live room on uh, fantasyleague.com. They'll be able to go in there, draft their teams, be able to talk amongst themselves. That's also going to be Sunday, September 2nd. Once we determine the time for the commentators draft, we'll be able to determine the time for all of our viewers drafts. Uh, Ustream is going to be a really fun thing because we're going to have a live draft board with the chat room. You're going to be able to have conversation with all the different commentators, poke some fun at them. You know, if they make some really busted picks, go, you know, call them out on it. We'll be calling out each other all day and hopefully we'll be um, giving some feedback back to the fans. Our scoring roster rules is what's on display right now. We're just going to use standard NFL.com scoring rules this year. Keep it simple, keep, you know, get everybody into the flow of the whole thing. Our rosters are going to be 16 players with a nine-player starting roster, featuring a quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end, a flex position, which can be a wide receiver or a tight end, a kicker, and a defensive special teams, as well as two injury reserve spots, if you're into that sort of thing. Anyways, um, two injury reserve spots, you got a guy that gets hurt. He comes back, you know, he's got like turf toe or something, he's back in two weeks. You don't have to drive him off. You just leave him on the injury reserve list for those who are unaware of what an injury reserve list is. And, yeah, that pretty much breaks it down for you right there as far as scoring and roster rules. So no huge surprises, no craziness, no madness. Our prize at the end of the season is going to be a throwback mini trophy from fantasytrophies.com. I purchased this last year. I was going to use it as like an MVP trophy for the guy that did the best during the regular season, but it kind of 
in, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way after I was thinking about it and after I was about to, you know, bestow it upon somebody and decided it wasn't really going to work for that. But I think this is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and make this guy find a suitable home for himself. So anyways, as it's, you know, as it's listed out there, I'm going to mail this out to whoever wins our fantasy league, you know, free of charge, no big deal. I'm going to put a plaque on it. It's going to have your name, team name year, everything like that. Hopefully you'll make a video response. I'm asking that you make a video response. Just letting everybody know that you got your trophy and everything's all good. So anyways, questions you've all been asking yourselves, how am I to join this league? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, you're going to email, you know, this three bits of information that are below to digitalpigskin at gmail.com. Big Play Killer is going to be, you know, taking everybody's names organizing everything, passing on the information to me so I can get it all, you know, hashed out on the website and everything like that. And any questions that you have, you're directed to or it's him and Ryan Moody. They'll both be checking that out. We're going to need your name, team name, and your phone number. Um, don't come up with a, uh, 